Hey, welcome back. I just finished McCall 7975. I worked on View B, which has the three quarter inch sleeves. This is a twist tie front. It's rated very easy and it's uh, drafted for moderate stretch knits. I used a piece of this fabulous animal print knit that um, was left over from the Vogue wrap dress I did. If you haven't seen that, the, that card is right up here. The twist was pretty easy to put together. I followed a sew along by Brittany J. Jones. Please check that out if you are interested in making this top. She's really fabulous at uh, teaching this and the knot was pretty easy to follow. I brought the top up about an inch from the lengthen and shorten line and I still felt that the back might have been, might be a little too long for me in the back. But if I raise it anymore, you're going to see midsection uh, it, underneath the knot. If your there. knit has a wrong side to it, it will show at the knot. So um, I recommend just a couple of stitches at the knot to hold it in place on the right side. I also worked on Vogue 1968, View A. This pattern is rated easy and it's described as a close fitting knit dress with an asymmetric neckline, gathers, an invisible side zip, and uh, long and short sleeve variations. I use this beautiful double brush poly that I picked up from the Miami Fort Lauderdale area a couple years back during a sewcation that I had with my sew sisters. This dress is not done. First of all, I skipped the zip on the side and I'm able to get in and out of it. I went by the garment measurements and it had me cut out the size 14, pattern size 14. And I'm normally not a, port, a 14, but I, I figured I'd go with it because I knew that there were gonna be adjustments and sure enough, there are. There's too many adjustments for me to make that I figured I'm going to take the entire dress apart, <laughs> take it up, my normal one inch at the um, length and shorten line and cut it a size 12, maybe even a size 10, pattern 10 and see, I might not be able to get into it. Although I feel with this neckline, I've been able to step in it, no problem. So I will keep you updated on how that turns out. So for next week, I am working on, it's been pretty cold here in Southwest Florida. A little colder than usual and although I find it refreshing it is cold so I, I I'd love to do like a hoodie and maybe some lounging pants and I've got two patterns here this one is McCall's 4261 the hoodie and the drawstring pants I like that the pants are not actually jogger style or the this one is new look 6771 the pants are, they actually, they look more like a, um, a legging on this one. So, and I love the neckline here on that top. And for fabric, I have this beautiful animal print, silver metallic French terry. I've had this for a couple of years, waiting for just the right project. And I think a hoodie in this is going to look Fabulous. Well, then there's life. Well, um, I don't have a lot of sewing goals for this year. I am just going to sew whatever I feel like it, whether I need it or not. I just want to keep sewing, especially doing 30 minute sews so that I sew daily. Um, so, uh, you know, I'm not too concerned about what my closet needs, although there, there are several closet needs in my wardrobe, but I, I just, Right now, I'm in uh, a headspace that I enjoy sewing and I want to keep sewing. If you like videos like this, you're going to love this next video. I'll see you there.